Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to be back here on YouTube creating long form content after a three month long maternity leave. Self appointed. <laughs> um, and I'm now taking myself off. I'm just happy to be back creating. Finally getting into the groove of this mom life. It is, it has been a challenge, but we, we are getting it down. Like now you can hear my baby crying, but he's with his dad and I'm just gonna let them work it out but i am three months postpartum and this part has been the most difficult part my pregnancy was a breeze uh, labor and delivery wasn't that bad either but postpartum has been the most mentally challenging process of giving birth for me and i've been talking to moms and they say that it lasts for a long time some people say you know they felt better after two months some people say they felt better after two years and i'm just like where am i gonna fall in in that bracket because um I'm not struggling that bad, but I'm struggling. Every time he cries, I really feel like I need to go in there and save him. But my husband will tell me he's got it when I go in there. So I'm trying to just like let him have it. Well, some of the things that I dealt with postpartum, I had um, tendon tendonitis in my wrist. So my wrist would lock up because of the inflammation from all the fluid from pregnancy and uh, labor and delivery. <clears throat> my wrist would lock up and get very stiff in the morning time so when i would go to pick him up it would be super super painful um that happened i still had like the residual pain from my hips i might have to go get my baby so i had the tendonitis and um i had to wear these braces on my wrist and do physical therapy to kind of get myself back more like able to move my my wrist um and it eventually went away on its own. I don't have that issue anymore. But my hip pain is also gone. It took about a month and a half for that to go away. So my symptoms are slowly like itching off. But those were some of the physical things. My teeth have spread. And I, sh I just, I can't blame this on my pregnancy. I stopped wearing my retainer because it didn't fit anymore. And now my teeth have shifted even more so than what they were before. And I have to redo my whole brace process again. Also, my feet have gotten bigger. I cannot wear my size sevens anymore, um, which is very, very depressing because I have so many shoes. But I'm either a seven and a half, I'm like somewhere between seven and a half to eight now. And I have to just redo my whole entire catalog of shoes because I cannot fit any of them. Mentally, I am, I'm pretty okay most of the time. I don't cry as much as I used to. When he first got here, he would cry and I would have no idea what was wrong. He would be fed, burped, he'd have his, um, he'd go to the bathroom, he'd do everything that he was supposed to do and then he would just scream bloody murder. And I had no idea what the issue was. So I would be crying, he would be crying, I would be crying and my husband would be looking at us like, what am I gonna do with y'all? Um, but it really just broke my heart because I had no idea what was wrong with him. And the way that he screamed, it was just like, I, I cannot fix it. There's nothing I can do to fix it. He, he I don't know what's wrong. Um, but we, we got over there. I'm accustomed to his cries now. I know what he needs when he cries. Now, I'm not as much as a crybaby as I was. Sometimes I shed a little tear here and there over something, but I'm not a crybaby anymore. So mentally, I'm doing a whole lot better than what I was. But I think the biggest thing for me right now is body image. This weight that I have, all this extra weight, when I gave birth to him, I was 200, almost 200 pounds. I was like 198. And right now I'm sitting at 179 when my pre-pregnancy weight was ranging at like 150. And my weight goal is like 130. So I'm all over the place. And right now I'm beginning, well, I've begun my weight loss journey. So I'm working to get myself back down to what I like. I, I don't like having huge, ginormous boobs, which I was already a triple D. Now I'm far beyond that. Um, but I don't like having ginormous boobs because of my body shape already. It makes me look more frumpy than anything because I, I'm not super curvy, but we're gonna work on some things. So I'm gonna get rid of as much body fat as I can. And hopefully with this weight loss journey, I know my face will get smaller because that happens first, but um, 
hopefully on my weight loss journey, I can also lose some mass on my breasts before I um, go ahead and go for some type of reduction consultation because I cannot live this way. And maybe if I lose some weight and I get more of like a, a shape, curve, curvier shape to my body with weight loss, I can handle the bigger boobs because it won't, you know, make me look square shaped. <laughs> but I'll have the curve, the curve to kind of accentuate. I'll be able to kind of accentuate my curves, which will, you know. But if I'm looking frumpy, it's a no-go for me. I can't do it. I hate it. Can't do it. So right now, that my major thing is, is my weight loss journey because I'm very subconscious about my image. And I'm not, I don't want to sound vain, but if I don't like the way I look, I don't want to be on camera. I don't want to be seen. I don't want to take pictures. So it's been a struggle um, trying to prepare myself mentally to come back to content creation because it's a lot of being on camera and authentic and sometimes being vulnerable. And it, it, it's been kind of a mind a mind thing for me because I just I don't so most days I don't want to be seen sometimes I just don't feel pretty and I don't feel like I look good which my confidence used to be like the highest thing like I don't care what people think about me all I know is I know I look good but now I'm just like and it's not even about what people think about me because everybody tells me you look so pretty and da 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 da, da. but it's me, it's when I look in the mirror and what I see and how I feel. So that's the most important thing to me and working to get it back together. Like we're gonna get it together, getting it back together. Um. So yeah, so right now I'm sitting at 178. I'm trying to get down to 130, 120, 120, 130 range. I got a lot to do, I got a long way to go. I'm probably gonna be doing this for the next six months. Um, and I'm not necessarily dieting um just increasing my protein and intermittent fasting so i'm still eating things that i want just in moderation um making sure that i prioritize my protein intake and um not eating after a certain time because i'm a snacking girl i will get up at one o'clock in the morning and give me a snack <laughs> so the next big life update is that we moved and i'm so happy god blessed us so much Y'all know that we were staying in a one-bedroom apartment when I got pregnant, while I was pregnant, my whole pregnancy journey. Um, top floor, so it was just a struggle, but we made it work. So I didn't expect this to move so quickly. I expected this to move sometime after the baby was born, but maybe like a month before uh, we were supposed to deliver. My husband comes home and he's like, okay, we got to go. We're moving. I looked at some townhouses. I picked the ones that I thought you might like. We're going to go view them and then you can pick whichever one you like the most. And that's where we're going to go. And it happened so quick that he came home on a Monday and we were moving out that Thursday. It was fast and he was not playing no games. He's like, you got to get out of here before the baby's born. I guess he just had like a mind, like a switch flipped in his mind. He's like, you know, we, need, we do need more space because I have been saying that. And he's like, no, we can make it work and I can just do this and do that. And I was like, we need more space. We need more space. But I was just going to let him try to try to let him. I tried to let him lead me the way that I'm supposed to. But I did put the idea in his mind. And then it finally clicked. And he moved us from that one bedroom into a three bedroom townhouse. And we have so much space. And now... The only thing I'm worried about is how I'm going to fill the space up. I really want to make this a very comfortable home environment. I want it to be very homey, very vibey. So right now I'm just doing little things in each room. I suppose I should probably go room by room, but my mind doesn't work that way. I'm doing little things in each room to kind of bring in like more of a homey feel. This will probably be the last room that I do, which is my office slash the guest room. Um, we don't have many guests, so I didn't want to just use it as a guest room. People come visit us maybe once or twice a year. No, this is going to be my office and my space to create. I'm most excited to decorate and just create a, a safe space for me and my family. And yes, God, God has been blessing us. God has been blessing us. God has been blessing us. And I'm so grateful, so thankful to have a husband who provides, who loves, who shelters, who supports he does all of the things this is my man my he ain't going nowhere okay if you get houston even though 
I have contemplated so many times about giving him away. It's just been difficult for me. My husband has gone back to work. It's been difficult for me personally taking care of him and the baby because I, I just feel like I don't give him enough attention now. You know, usually he's all up under me. He sleeps with me on and all this stuff. But now he can't do those things because I have the baby. And in the morning time, I have to tend to the baby, whereas he has to wait to go outside to go to the potty. And he doesn't get as much love and affection as he's used to. So I was like, maybe I should just give him to somebody who can do those things for him. But I'm trying to stick through it. You know, it's, everything is just a phase. And eventually we'll find some type of balance there also with me, me, him, and the baby. So hopefully I can just, I, I can push through and we can make it work so that I don't have to give him up because I love him to death. Let's talk about the future. What's in the works for this channel and me, myself. So, of course, this channel is going to go more towards vlogging now because I'm going to be so busy, have been so busy being a mom. It's hard for me to do sit down videos. As you can see, my baby had, my baby was crying. There's nothing I can do about that. Y'all just going to hear him crying in the background. Sometimes he might be sitting in my lap while I'm filming. It just is what it is. You got to get it done. You got to do what you got to do. So, there's that. But vlogging will be a very paramount piece of my channel now because it's going to be the easiest way for me to, to get my content out. And hopefully I can do it in a way that's kind of like um, authentic to me still. I, I still want to be authentic and creative in the way that I do it and showcase m me, you know, my creative side and the pieces of me that I want you guys to see and share with you guys. So that's going to be a big thing now here on this channel. I hope you guys like it. I was trying to get into vlogging while I was pregnant because I knew that once he was here, that would be a big piece of this. Um, I'm still going to do my sit down videos, the beauty, because you know, I love the makeup and the hair. So I'm still going to be doing those and sometimes coming at y'all with like little educational tidbits because I don't want to, I don't want to be a gatekeeper. If I know something, I want to share that information. So we're going to have a few of those also. But vlogging will be the centerpiece of this channel now. I'm transitioning from a full-time employee to becoming a stay-at-home wife and mother. Right now, I feel like being a mom is the biggest job that I have and will have for a very long time. So it's my priority. I think it's going to be a big adjustment financially uh, for both of us because as I try to find my footing in what I'm going to do to make money, because I have to make my own money, it's just an unnegotiable. There's no way that I can just live off my husband. Absolutely not. So I don't care if he's a billionaire, I can't do it. I am, as I'm getting my footing, trying to figure out what I'm going to do financially for myself. I don't know, he just, he, he's gonna have to carry us and, and he has no problem with it, of course. But being a mom is the most important thing to me right now that's what it is and i can't see myself putting my baby into daycare with people i don't know personally strangers i can't do it until he can talk i'm not even gonna gonna think about the idea of putting him in somebody's daycare so there's that home we're gonna be at home mommy's gonna be doing all the domestic things and <laughs> trying to be a boss at the same time mommy wife boss all of that at the same time. Right now, my streams of income are Dolls Way, content creation and trading. Trading right now is the most lucrative. It's my most profitable venture at the moment. This is the life update. I hope you guys are, I hope you guys are interested. I'll say that. If you are just, you know, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and make sure that you turn your notifications on so you'll be here when I post. I am committed to so many things this year for the rest of the year to hit so many goals because I have them. And that's just what we are working on. Ain't that right, baby? So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope y'all return. Um, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to see anything specific for me, just leave me some comments in the uh, comment section below. I am making my plans. We're going to do this work. We're going to get it done. And to all of my moms out there, please comment your channel. I want to I wanna be in touch with the moms. Um, I'm not on Instagram or Facebook right now. I'm trying to take a break so I can build this platform. But I really want to connect with more moms, the bosses, and wives. People, women who are Christian and just trying to do the thing. 
leave your info in the comment section below i'll subscribe to your channel i will follow you wherever you are just let's link up virtually <laughs> thank y'all for watching this video i'll see y'all in the next one toodles